Now, this is Friday, and so we're at the very end of the story. I'm, I'm not going to go all the way, but I like this part. Uh, they keep asking Jesus, Jesus, who's going to betray you? In verse 26, Jesus says, It is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. Now, what is going on here? When Judas took the bread, he it says, Satan, the adversary, entered him. What can we know from this story? I don't want to talk about Satan going into him and things like that. I want to just point out something to you. Jesus took the bread, he dipped it, and then he gave it to Judas. There's no implication that he threw it across the room. There's no implication that he stretched across the table. He gave it to the one who was very next to him. Who was the one next to Jesus? It was Judas. Somehow everybody understood that Judas was one of the good guys. Jesus even allowed Judas to be close to him, even though he knew what was going on. Jesus still trusted him, or I should say gave him every opportunity to stay loyal to him. But can I just encourage you, don't spend your life trying to impress other people with your spirituality, and don't spend your life trying to pretend. Maybe Judas was simply in the end too proud to turn to Jesus. Let's not be that way. Let's come to him now.